doing this right around traffic time, y'all, so you might hear a few cars in the background. I'm sorry about that. Hi, guys. So today I want to share this delicious meatloaf recipe. Y'all, it has taken me some time to perfect a really good meatloaf recipe. Now, um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not that big of a fan of meatloaf. Not that huge of a fan. But um, I'm just not familiar with meatloaf. My mom never made it growing up. My grandmother never made it. None of my friends' mothers never made it. I grew up on soul food and Mexican food. So um, meatloaf was just never really around. Well, some people will consider meatloaf soul food, but I don't know about that. So y'all, I really wanted to have a delicious meatloaf recipe in my recipes. So um, I took my basic meatloaf recipe and um, because I've tried out so many recipes, y'all, so many on the World Wide Web, that um, I remember tips and tricks that others have said in their recipes for their meatloaf. And I incorporated those tips with my basic meatloaf. And y'all, my meatloaf. So the first thing you're gonna need for this recipe, you guys, is a couple pounds of ground beef. You want your ground beef to at least be 85% lean. For this recipe, I'm using a 93% lean. Now I'm gonna go ahead and break my ground beef up with a fork. I just find um, when I use my hands to make my meatloaf and mix everything together, my meatloaf can be a little dense. So I like to just mix it with a fork. And then I'm gonna add in some grated onion. I like to add grated onion to my meatloaf and to my meatballs. It's just a better texture, it's a better mouthfeel, I would say. <laughs> So next, I'm gonna add in some minced garlic. You guys know I love my minced garlic. After that, we're gonna go old school and we're gonna add in some crushed Ritz crackers. Now after my Ritz crackers, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some fresh parsley. Now if you don't have fresh parsley, dry parsley will work just fine. After that, I'm gonna add in some Italian herb seasoning some dry Italian herb seasoning. Next, I'm gonna add in some smoked paprika. I just prefer smoked paprika, but regular paprika is just fine. I'm gonna add in some black pepper and salt. Next, we're gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce. A couple of beaten eggs and some whole milk. Now I'm gonna mix my meatloaf mixture up with my fork. If you're fluffing rice, just fluff all those ingredients together. <laughs> or you can use your hands if you don't care. I just like to use the fork because it gives the meatloaf a lighter, spongier feel rather than so dense. So now that our meatloaf is mixed well, we're gonna go ahead and set it aside and we're gonna work on our glaze. Now for our glaze, we're gonna take some ketchup, some tomato paste. Some sweet chili sauce. A little bit of vinegar I'm using rice vinegar but you can use apple cider vinegar and some brown sugar and we're gonna whisk this together until it's nice and smooth you want to make sure you mix that tomato paste in well So next, we're gonna go ahead and form our meatloaf. You wanna take a sheet pan and add some parchment paper to it. And you're just gonna free form your loaf. So after you form your meatloaf, you're gonna take your glaze and you're gonna slather it on, girl. Now, um, you can do a double glaze, but I just like to do one glaze. 
I find when I do, by the time the meatloaf is done, the glaze isn't as set and caramelized and sticky as I want it. But it gets that way when you do one thick glaze at the beginning. So um, go ahead and glaze it. Rub it down, girl. Slather it on. Get it nice and thick on there. And then we're going to pop it in the oven at 400 degrees. We're going to let it cook for one hour. And what you're going to end up with is a delicious, juicy, sticky, Y'all, this meatloaf is so good. I'm that person that likes the end caps of the meatloaf, both ends of it. Y'all, it's so sticky, so flavorful. You can taste that garlic, those Ritz crackers add that buttery flavor. Girl, this meatloaf. <laughs> So guys, give this meatloaf recipe a try and let me know how you like it. If you like this type of video from me, y'all see I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. <laughs> but if you do enjoy this type of video from me, go ahead and leave the video a thumbs up. Let me know how you like it in the comments. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yum. Yeah.